Greetings, I, the War Owl, greets you. The lovely people in the MapCore community reached out to me because they wanted to put my gray box textured map DE Amigo into their Face It Hubs map pool. Those were a lot of strange words. That means that my map was played competitively by a bunch of people. This was a great opportunity to get some feedback from people who aren't necessarily War Owl viewers. Listen, you biased. I love you, but you're biased. But you're biased because you like me. And I like you for that, but you're biased. One of the things I've been missing a lot with this map is constructive criticism, and this was a great way to get it, and I did. The first thing I set out to do was put clip brushes around the map to prevent boosting into the skybox. Since people were going to be playing my map competitively, I had to get rid of all the exploits. Now that our map had absolutely no exploits, it was time to see if it was perfectly balanced. This is the result of 59 matches played on DE Amigo. Let's see here. 50-50? 50, 50, 25, 50. Hmm. Huh. So what this shows is that DE Amigo is a perfectly balanced map with absolutely no exploits. If we compare this with data that Valve released on win rates, it lines up. These rates are exactly what you should be shooting for as a map maker. We know that Valve historically has made a lot of their decisions with Counter-Strike based on data analysis rather than direct feedback. Now, there's strengths and weaknesses to both, but now I had the data and the feedback, and I was fascinated to learn that they did not go together at all. Nearly everyone had the impression that the map was too CT sided and actively complained about it, but the data did not support this. Some people thought that this side room above B site was too overpowered, but people rarely used it. In fact, heat maps showed that it was mainly used by the T's in after plant scenarios. The tool that I'm using here was designed by Jim Wood and the Whale Man, two great mappers, and it was hosted on Top Hat Waffles website, who's a guy who makes tutorial videos on how to do mapping. This heat map of flash and smoke position showed me that people really need to learn how to throw some standard smokes and flashes. I can't imagine just trying to run into a bombsite dry peeking everything. Goodness. Let's read some of the direct feedback that people left after playing my map. Don't play this map. Why is there a face on the minimap? Ah, good question. If you had a face like this, you would display it everywhere you could. Your map is garbage. Delete YouTube. The main feedback people had on the map was that short A was too easy for the T's, mid was too easy for the CT's, and there was no safe plant positions, and it wasn't obvious where to plant on each site. It was once again time to make some changes. To try to finally fix the quick rotate problem once and for all, I decided to try something really unique. Instead of going up, I made the mid ramp go down and then require a climb up some stairs to get to B. After experimenting with this idea for a few hours, it didn't work, so I reverted it. There were a lot of things that happened like this. I tried something out, I experimented, and it just didn't work, so I had to revert it. At this point, it's kind of tough for me to make big sweeping changes, and I probably shouldn't, considering that the map actually actually is balanced. Now I know what you're thinking. Do fish pee in streams? And if so, is it safe to drink stream water? Let's check out some of the changes that I made. Now a lot of these are super subtle and you won't notice them. Like these boxes are different sizes, they're in different places. This is new, this is a new box that I added. People don't really know where to plant on this site. That was a big piece of feedback. So I put this box here so it made sense that, oh, this is like the safe plant position here. I'm not visible from any of the entrances. I can plant here safely. I don't know, I'm thinking about redoing this site though. Um, there's a lot of really subtle changes that you really won't notice, like this hallway is slightly bigger. Now I made this change after watching a live stream highlight from Flom, who was checking out the map, and one thing he said was that the entrances need to be a little bit wider so that you can peek with two people, and if I hug the back wall here, I have a better angle for peeking. You won't see my, uh, my shoulder peek out first if I'm further away from the angle. Um, so I made those changes pretty much all over the map, to kind of make the entry points for the T's make a little bit more sense. Now this wall's been pushed back a little bit, and this area has been changed a little bit, so that this area down here isn't overpowered. Like, you used to be able to, to 
chill here and then you could peek out here. Now, if you drop down, you're visible from here. And if you move forward here, like your shoulder will be sticking out a little bit. So this area has been nerfed a little bit. Um, and then if you move out here, so you're visible from top mid, now I can hide. Um, so you're gonna have to always be visible when you're playing this position. Um, oh yeah, I added this little wall here. Now this is specifically so that a Molotov and a smoke, like one Molotov and then one smoke, will completely block off this area. You won't really have to worry about it if you throw it properly. It also makes the area for peeking a little bit less. I, I really like that change. It's very subtle and hmm, what's this? There's a little cutout here. Now, one of the problems that I was having is CTs were able to throw this one smoke at mid, block it off, and then take control of these boxes and it was super strong. Now with this, you can hop up here and watch top mid boxes. So you can kind of see if the CTs do that. You can jump here even if the smoke is down and kind of see what's going on at middle. Um, it's also really good for throwing utility. Now, uh, there was some feedback about the hole. People didn't like that the, uh, the smokes fell down there. However, my thoughts on this are, I think it's funny. Yeah, so we have that. Um, the other thing is, you probably didn't notice it. Did you notice it? Well, you noticed these walls, but let's walk through here. Did you notice it? Probably not. Super subtle. Uh, the map is a lot bigger now. Uh, this area is wider. I've pushed B site further away from middle, so the map's kind of like a perfect circle now. So this hallway is actually a lot longer than it used to be, but it's kind of tough to, to notice that outright. And yeah, this is basically, I put walls where there used to be these boxes. I wanted to make the cover bigger without making it really ugly. Um, so it's just like a temporary kind of style to kind of give you an idea about where the cover is supposed to be. I might even make this one a little bit bigger though, just so you can have like some safe plant positions or plant positions that make more sense. Now with these changes to B site, you can get a little bit more creative with your utility. Like look at these few smokes that I've thrown. And, like, it's not like 100% obvious where you're supposed to throw them. You can kind of be creative as a team and come up with your own setups. There's more options here for the tees. Um, you can also throw that Molotov, which bounces and blocks this off. People are having trouble with mid as tees, so I'm going to give you, like, a mini tutorial for it. Um, line up where the elevation changes here on the ground, and then you're just going to do a walking throw. Now, this is a top mid smoke, and it will perfectly block off the window or the balcony area so as you push out there's nowhere that balcony can see you the only way that that balcony guy can really help is if he drops down and tries to shoot from that area if you have a terrace player lurking over here at short he's cut this off he's prevented a player from playing short and he prevents that uh, ct player from dropping down and killing you at mid uh, you can still kind of drop down in the open, but then he gonna die. Um, there's also a really easy Molotov you can throw from here. Now that we have this window, boom, I think I showed this just previously. And there you go, perfect Molotov to block off that spot. You can even throw a smoke here if you don't have control of short. You can throw a smoke here. I mean, this stuff's kind of, kind of obvious, right? Um, and then you can push out, you take box control, you can take here. You can kind of walk up slowly on this angle, which is really nice, and set up to try to do a split B. Um, and smoke this off. There's tons of options here for mid, so I don't think it's super CT sided like uh, some of the feedback says. I'm gonna do something different this time and show you the planned changes I'll be making in the next update. For mid balcony, I plan on extending the pathway to B site to instead connect to the CT spawn entrance. There will be a staircase going up to it angled from the B site side. For A site, I plan on moving the bomb site into the corner under the window where I'll add more appropriate cover and make it really obvious where the bomb should be planted. As for stopping short A rushes, which people say are overpowered right now, I guess, get good. Now, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for fixing short A. I don't know what to do here. I don't wanna keep pushing walls and boxes around and rearranging things for years and years and years. At a certain point, we have to stop and say, it's done, boom, this is the layout. When you're doing something creative, it's very easy to overdo it. And if you just keep poking at it and messing with it hours and hours and hours, eventually you'll end up with a muddled mess. You have to know when to stop. I'm thinking one more big update and then we'll do some tweaks and fixes to, to make sure it's not completely broken. And then that's it. We'll have our layout and we'll move on to the next step. Thank you folks very much for watching. I am the War Amel and I still have no closer.
fitness update. I can do like real push-ups now. Look. Don't ask about the nose.